a melhor comida de cima de Deus que sai. É, sasa, momenifanya nime, nime changa nikeo kidogo, watumishi wa mungu. He's saying that uh, he's been mixed up. É, nimeenda, nimeenda kini ibaari ya kanisa yingine. He went to, to worship with another church. Na, amejaribu kufatilia ibaari yao, ninaona ina ibaariki sana. But he's been trying to follow up their service and he's feeling like he's being blessed so much. And when he borrowed some styles of worship from that church and he brought them to their church and they rejected it. Sasa itakuwaje niende ni ulize pasta wa kanisa yangu Ata nipake na pasta niende ni shiriki kwe So how will it be that I will go to ask my pasta To give me um, To allow me to go and join the other church Ama mwende muulize pasta wa kawapake na pasta niwe ni shiriki kwe Or, uh, or uh, I tell that church that I have gone That they go back to the church where I have come from To ask for permission for me to join that new church Itapuaji. How will it be? Swali la pili. Second question. Pale mari pa musama. That place of forgiveness. Sasa kama ni naomba musama ni epuke, ni epuke atabu. So if I'm requesting for forgiveness so that I cannot fall unto judgment. Na ipatikane ata ni kiomba musama ni siombe ni itapuwa tu katika ile na imu ore isha pagika ni kahatibiwa. And it is like even if I go for forgiveness or I don't go, I will be punished. Sasa kuna haja kanya mimi kwenda kuunga musama, sini haja tu ni punishiwe na haja ni toke kwa wukofu basi. So what is the reason of me going to ask for forgiveness? Iyo tu kwenye nataka na ilisho. Now, wait, wait, wait. Wait, wait. I have to ask you something. You want to answer who is a teacher? You said whether I forgive or not, I'll be punished. What do you mean by that? Yes. Ila kumbuka mtumishi wa Mungu kesema eh hata ukiomba msamaha ile tumesema in English. Even if I go for forgiveness, I just face the consequences. Yeah, of course. Of committing that sin. And I've gone for the forgiveness, but I still I will have to face the consequences. Now what is the need of going for forgiveness? And I still I will have just to face the consequences. Ijapo kuwa ataomba msamaha ni lazima tu kwamba yale matokeo ya ile dhambi aliyofanya itamdhuru. Don't don't go fire. I see my question. Una haja gani ya kuomba msamaha? Now the first question about did he say that he wants to go to another church and how do I say to my pastor? Is that the first question? Okay. It's something we have to ask ourselves. It's you know, is this from God? Whether I should go to the other church. And as if I owe him to know where the kupamba nuo uju e kuamba, maybe you could not go to any other church. I could not go to any other church. I need to be now see wangu amali pango amu. We know that this church where we were brought up has blessed us in many ways and helped us in many ways. To know you a kuamba kanisa ile amai we met to know a time we to turn we met to say dia katika vi vi pimbi amavi wangu vingi ne. If we find a a good church, then we can. Try to live out what the church does in this church. You know, that's the first priority. Because, I mean, if we learn something in the other church, we Kama utajifundisha kitu kigini kutuwa kwenye ile kanisa mpi ama mgeni. And then we try to live out that pastor in this church. Na sasa tunaanza kuiga zile mifantu na zileta kwenye kanisa. That's the first choice. Yani sasa, uo nyo wa mzi wa kwanza. Only if it doesn't work at all. Kama haiwezi kafaulu. And then we can communicate with the pastor about this problem and try to see if there is a way to resolve it. Basi itabidi kwamba ujaribu kujadiliana yu mtugai uone kwamba kuna njia ineo njia mwafa kamba ineza fuatiwa. If we try everything and nothing works then we can still, we are still free to go. Basi it. Mtungaji wako basi kwamba kwa mfano atakuwa atakataa lakini wewe unaona kwamba ni ya manufaa kwako wewe una uamuzi wako unaweza kwenda tu pili unataka kwenda. the first thing we want to do is see if we can stay in this church. Lakini jambo la kwanza kuangalia ni lazima uangalie ujue kwamba hili kanisa linapokaa ndani lina mazingira mazuri. 
Because God wants to raise up this church also. Kwa sababu pia Mungu anataka kuinua kanisa hilo pia. So can I find what I learned there to to this church? So ukijua kwamba Mungu anataka kwamba hili kanisa liinuliwe na ile mitindo ambayo umeiga basi wewe fanya bidii ulete hizo mitindo kwenye hilo kanisa. Now, about the second question when we you know when we can forgive people there will be less consequence ya kwamba katika swali la pili kama unajifundisha kusamehe watu basi matokeo ya zile dhambi yatakuwa machache For instance, if we have simple thought and if we handle it right away, the consequence will be very, very small. Kwa mfano, unapokuwa na mawazo kinyume ama mawazo ya dhambi na unayashughulikia moja kwa moja, utapata kwamba hayatakudhuru kwa kiwango kikubwa. So to forgive will always bring more blessings. Ya kwamba kusamehe kutaleta baraka nyingi. But not to forgive will bring bad consequences. Si kwamba kusamehe kutaleta matokeo ambayo ni kinyume. I don't know if I understand your question. I don't know why you said that to forgive them that there are still bad consequences. I don't understand that part. But if I answered already that you don't understand. Kuna jua sha Mungu Biblia inasema kwamba dhambi hadi kiwa ni ngumu kama damu itakuwa nyeupe kama theluji. Sasa umesamehewa lakini wewe ni mtu ambaye umesamehewa na watu wanakuona unatembea katika adhabu ndio ni mtu ambaye unaokoka ni unatembea katika adhabu hiyo itakuwa heshima gani Mungu anakuwa ni kama Mungu kukudhalilisha mbele ya watu unasamehewa ni unatembea kwa adhabu that's what I'm asking dhambi kwa ni mkondo kama damu Biblia inasema utasamehewa na kuwa nyeupe kama theluji itabadilishwa na sasa hapa umeshasa umeza okay this is what I'm saying I'm a man of God That the Bible says, if you are you, you are a sinner and you walk before the Lord with that sin, however it is red as blood, it it will be. You come to God. You come to God. You want now to come to be transformed. You want to to you, you want God to forgive you. Now the Bible says that however these things are the spray is blood they will be as white as snow yeah. and and then the, if it is that now they are as white as snow but you are still moving in a consequence of the sin that you did earlier how okay. will it be something okay now the the Bible verses talk about those that sin they red like crimson it will become white as snow it's talking about forgiveness wakati biblia inaposema kwamba ijapokuwa dhambi zako zimekuwa nyekundu kama damu zitasafisha zikuwe nyeupe kama theluji inazungumza kuhusu msamaha God will forgive a repentant sinner. A real, you know, truly repentant sinner. God will forgive for sure. Mungu atamsamehe yule mtanadhambi anayetubu kutoka kwenye kilindi cha moyo wake. Like David when he committed adultery and murder, God really forgive him. Forgive him. David. Wakati Daudi basi alipotenda dhambi, Mungu alimsamehe. But he had to suffer the consequence of his sin. Lakini yale madhara ya dhambi haiku kwa mfano unapompigia mtu kelele na unaomba Mungu akusamehe atakusamehe but a hurt relationship takes a lot of effort to repair lakini sasa ule uhusiano utachukua muda ili kwamba urudishe ule uhusiano ulio sawa sawa yani uponyaji unachukua muda and also the person who still remember na wewe mtu ambaye utakuwa umemtokoza ataendelea kukumbuka do you understand that part umeelewa ufikie hapo for instance Let me use an illustration. A pastor committed adultery. Kwa mfano, A pastor committed adultery. Kwa mfano, mtumiaji anafanya uzinifu. And he repented, he asked God to forgive him and ask the church. Na huyo mtumiaji anaomba Mungu msamaha. And God and the church forgives him. Na kanisa na Mungu wanamsamehe. But it doesn't mean he can He might not be allowed to continue in that church. Aimanishi kwamba atakataza kuendelea kwa kwenye ile kanisa. Because the people already lost trust in him. Kwa sababu watu 
wameshapoteza ule uaminifu ndani ya huyo mtu. Okay, you understand this there are consequences. Ya kwamba ule uhusiano ulikuwa mzuri ukaharibiwa kurejele ule uhusiano kurejeshwa ukue sawasawa itachukua muda hasemi kwamba ule uhusiano hautarudi utarudi lakini utachukua muda like if someone is angry and breaks someone's window kwa mfano mtu amekasirika na avunje dirisha la mtu if even if he asks for forgiveness first he has to pay for the window hata kama ata hata kama ataomba msamaha itabidi lazima arekebishe ile dirisha kwanza and then it takes time to repair the relationship with that family na sasa ule uhusiano utachukua muda ili urudi ule uhusiano uliyo sawa jinsi ulivyokuwa vipindi vya kwanza and also other than the personal level with God too if we have sinned this sin will restrict us to go to a higher level in the relationship and ministry. Na hata hivyo iko hivyo katika uhusiano wako wa kibinafsi na Mungu ya kwamba unapotenda dhambi japo kuwa utatubu lakini itakuchukua muda tena kuanza kuingia katika vipindi vya juu katika kuwa na uhusiano na Mungu katika uhusiano ulio wa nguvu zaidi. For instance someone want to serve God they want to go higher level kwa mfano mtu anataka kumtumikia Mungu hawezi kumtumikia Mungu katika viwango vya juu zaidi but if he commits a serious sin every month and asks for forgiveness he still cannot go to that high level of ministry huyu mtu kwa mfano anatenda dhambi kila mwezi na kuomba msamaha ina maana kwamba huduma yake haiwezi ikaenda juu zaidi na zaidi i use myself as an example anajitumia yeye kama mfano now i can go to different countries too train people to serve God. Anaweza kwenda kwenye mataifa mbalimbali basi kuhubiri. But if I commit some serious sin, lakini akitenda dhambi za nguvu, God will forgive me. Mungu atamsamehe. But I might lose this opportunity to go to different countries and Lakini kwa sababu ya ile dhambi aliyoitenda inaweza mzuia asiendelee kwenda kwenye mataifa mengine kufanya huduma. So to God myself from any kind of sin. Na sasa yeye anajiweka kando na kitu chochote kinachohusiana na dhambi. Even if some church I go to they have a lot of serious problem and they have a lot of anger hata kama makanisa anayatembelea na matatizo makubwa I still need to come to the Lord and be calm to handle it if I handle it in an angry way I can lose the way to serve basi yeye ataenda mbele za Mungu Mungu amuonyeshe njia na kama atashughulikia matatizo hayo katika njia ya asira hautakuwa mpango wa Mungu na hataweza kufunguliwa zaidi kwenda kwenye mataifa mengi kufanya huduma even when people have problems i still have to be gentle and meek hata kama watu wana matatizo na yeye yeye atakuwa mpole kwao okay so i understand that part Uh, kuta kama amekwenda kwa ndani katika vile vikundi and now when you do your investigation you realize that so it's true that he is in those groups na ukweli ni kwamba huyo mtoto akija kwako and the truth is when this child will come to you na uko na uhakika kwamba ameshiriki kwa katika vikundi vibaya and you are sure that he has been associating himself with bad groups in the study okay kama unataka kwamba wewe mtoto asije akauawa baadaye if maybe you want your child not to be killed katika hiyo hadi anaweza kuwa amekuomba msamaha in that way maybe he has asked for forgiveness like you know, ukitaka kwamba asife baadaye if you want that child not to die in the days to come kwa zile dhambi 
in that sin lazima utachapa yeye atakapoomba msamaha you will punish that child even if he asks for forgiveness atakapo mahali pale akiwaoga he will go from that place when he has fear rather than okay but i have to come and to okay aenda na usirudie don't just tell your child just go and don't repeat na ajia kwa mani atari and you just know that it's dangerous mwisho utasikia kwamba anachomwa Oh you will hear that he's been banned so ile consequences ni kumwonja moja ya ya mzazi kumwadhibu mwanawe so one of the consequences of that sin is you a parent to discipline your child kutokea pale sasa uishi ukiogopa zile dhambi from there that child will live when he has fear of that sin ile baadaye ukaweza kupata nafasi katika ufalme so that he will get chance in the kingdom of god Now I want to say thank you pastor Asante sana mtumishi the the consequence one consequence is the punishment of God Aha matokeo ya dhambi ya kwanza ni ile adhabu ya Mungu but there are consequences in many areas lakini pia kuna matokeo ya hizi dhambi kwenye sehemu nyingi it can be the loss of the peace labda unaweza kupoteza amani kwenye moyo wako the loss of a clear conscience ya kwamba mawazo yako hayatakuwa mawazo safi and problems in human relationship na sasa utapata kwamba katika uhusiano wako kuna matatizo and then the discipline of god is different from punishment na sasa adhabu ya mungu ni tofauti na ile adhabu ya kawaida ya matatizo is to train the child not to sin anymore. Ya kwamba wewe lazima umfundishe mwanao asitende dhambi kila wakati. And then finally there's punishment. Na sasa mwisho wake usipomfundisha basi unaruhisha mfundisha basi ni lazima apewe adhabu. And another consequence is to give him a, a foothold to the devil. Manake hizo da eh, matokeo mengine ya dhambi ni kuacha nafasi ama mwanya kwa kwa ajili ya ibilisi. And then the devil will come in to destroy the whole. Na sasa ibilisi ataingia hapo na aribu maisha yote. Okay. Now. Let us all pray now. Nataka tuombe sasa. It's most important not to think about someone else's sins, but to think about our sins. Sio jambo nzuri kuanza kufikiria dhambi za watu wengine, but lakini jambo la muhimu wewe kufikiria kuhusu dhambi zako binafsi. Think of our negative thinking and emotions. Na kwa mfano zile yale mawazo mawazo hisia kinyume na mawazo kinyume. Think of our relationship with people. Anza kufikiria uhusiano wako na watu. Our love and dedication to God na jinsi unavyompenda Mungu na umejitoa kwa ajili ya Mungu and whether we have been, been following God and obeying him kama tumechukua tukimfuata Mungu au kumtii Mungu and how we have been responsible for our own lives na sisi basi tunahukumika vipi kwa maisha yetu many people are wasting their life is also a sin unajua unapoharibu maisha yako wewe binafsi pia hiyo ni dhambi okay let's stand up hebu tukasimame kwa maombi and have a time first to meditate think about the sins we have nataka sasa kila mmoja utafakari juu ya zile dhambi ambazo unazo and ask God to help us to be aware of this sins and the consequences ukaombe Mungu akufunulie uwe una ufahamu wa dhambi hizo na matokeo ya hizo dhambi also think about What this sins are damaging how they are damaging my life and bringing bad consequences. Ukafikiria kwamba hizi dhambi zitaharibu maisha yako kiwango kipi na matokeo yake mabaya yatakuwa sambri gani. Okay. So we think about the bad consequences and come to God. Haya sasa tunafikiria kuhusu yale matokeo kinyume ya dhambi zetu. I'm truly sorry for my sins. Samahani na umba msamaha kwa dhambi zangu. I ask for forgiveness. Ninaomba msamaha and ask for strength to change. Ninaomba nguvu za kubadilisha. So I give you a time that you pray to God himself. Nakupa muda sasa kuombe Mungu kibinafsi wewe mwenyewe. Oh Lord Jesus, O Bwana Yesu, please wake up our spirit. Uka ukamshe roho zetu. So we know the seriousness of our sins. Ili kwamba tujue hatari ya hizi dhambi. We have all sinned against you. Sisi tumekutenda dhambi. We have failed you in many ways. Sisi tumefeli kwenye viwango vingi. Please help us to hate our sins. Uka tusaidie tukachukie dhambi zetu. We know that sins are more destructive than cancer. Tujue kwamba dhambi ni haribifu kushinda ugonjwa wa kansa. 
At this point, let us think about our sins and the consequences. Sasa hapa nataka ufikirie kuhusu dhambi na matokeo ya dhambi. Turn to God. Na ukamgeukie Mungu. At this let you have a time. Sasa hapa nakupa sasa na muda wako wa wewe kutafakari juu ya mambo haya. Nisaidie Bwana kumsamehe mtu huyo na nikubariki tena. Thank you. 
Thank you, Jesus. Asante, yes. Help us to live a holy life. To say, dear to each to my children. To God. Inayo kupendeza. To love you. To kupendeza. To love people. Kupenda watu. To obey you. Kuwati. To serve you. Kutumikia. When we don't serve you, to see for kutumikia. It's also a sin. Nidam bibia. When we live in despair, it's also a sin. Tunapoishi kutoka kutojitambua pia nidam. We want to be strengthened by God all the time. Tunataka tutiwe nguvu na Mungu kila wakati. Enjoy God all the time. Na tukamburudike Mungu kila wakati. So have the joy and the strength of the Lord. So na ule upendo na Hallelujah. Hallelujah. When we ask for forgiveness, you forgive us. Tunapokuomba msamao na tusamehe. You forgive all our sins. Umesamehe na mizizi zetu zote. Wash us clean with the blood of Jesus. Umetuosha kwa damu ya Kristo. Thank you, Jesus. Asante, yes. We can rejoice in you. To the ways of praying.